Second question that we have here that has been sent to me is the question, is it okay to listen to those people whose minhaj is unknown, like uh, Ustad Nu'man Ali Khan? The Salaf of this Ummah, Rahimahumullahu Ta'ala, they used to pay attention to who they took knowledge from. Knowledge should not be taken from someone who is majhul, he's not known. His qualifications, his competence is not known. Ibrahim al nakhi for an example, Zayd ibn Aslam, for an example, Al-Imam Hamid ibn Sirin, Hassan al-Basri, um, Ta'us, all of them have been reported and it's been recorded. That they used to say to the people, Rahimahumullahu ta'ala, inna hadha al-ilm deenun, fanduru amman ta'khudun al-deenakum. This religion this knowledge is your religion, so beware, be careful of those people who you are taking knowledge from. And the reason why they took that position is because they were afraid that a person may come to take knowledge from someone who is unknown and he has the ability to slip poison and teachings that are against the religion. So taking knowledge from people who are known is something that is imperative in knowledge of hadith, ilm al-hadith, in the chain of narration. One of the conditions for the hadith to be authentic is that each and every narrator has to be acceptable. He has to be known. He has to be known. The hadith of the machul, if a person is unknown, that hadith is rejected because he's bringing to the table ambiguity. So we have to take knowledge from people who are known for knowledge and for al-istiqamah.